Hey there folks and welcome to a quick little tutorial video. Um, so I noticed a lot of people were commenting on my previous video wondering how they can download and install Madness Interactive Reloaded. So that's the purpose of this video. I'm going to show you how to download and install this game. So the first thing you need to do is go to this here GitHub page. I'll be leaving a link to this page in the description of the video and you can also find it in the description of my original playthrough video uh, that you probably already watched. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download this here file. It's called mir underscore zero underscore or 48 underscore three underscore times 64 dot zip. You're going to want to download that. Wait for it to download. All right. So now we're going to go into your file system. So here I just have a folder in my games folder just called example. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that into my example folder from my browser. Then I'm going to right click it and then I'm going to use WinRAR to extract it. If you don't know what WinRAR is or how to download and install that, there's a million and a half tutorial videos out there on YouTube. I'm certain you can learn about it yourself. So we're just going to extract the game and we're going to sit here and wait until the game is done extracting. It should only take a few more seconds. Um, I believe this game only works on 64-bit computers. If you have a 32-bit machine, you might start running into some issues. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not a developer on this game, so please forgive me if I don't know everything about installing it. But now that you've extracted the zip into a folder on your computer, scroll down until you see mir.exe. Double click on it or press the enter button when you have it selected and the game will then open. And that's all there is to it. You now have Madness Interactive Reloaded installed on your computer. Uh, if you have any further questions or the game is crashing or nothing is working, then I would absolutely recommend just getting in contact with the developers. They are obviously going to be the experts on this sort of thing, so uh, feel free to join their Discord server. I will leave a link to the Studio Minus Discord server in the description of this video. So if you truly have any issues, you can contact them on Discord, and hopefully they'll be able to resolve your problem. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope this tutorial was useful.